boats. This is Y, CSY. Each hull is hatched from a perfect mold, prepared and waxed to brilliance by craftsmen who care. Night and day thereafter, with all due deference to temperature and humidity, to drying times and the avoidance of chemical reaction, the painstaking layering of the fiberglass laminations proceeds. Quality laminate does not come easy. From the first layer of best inorganic gel coat, controlled within 18 to 25 thousandths of an inch, each layer of laminate is built up, up to 16 layers. Beat that if you can. The finest resin is cunningly blended with fine, coarse, and matte fiberglass and is pressure sprayed and hand rolled to avoid resin rich or resin dry areas. CSY decks, too, are hand laid fiberglass to the thickness of most hulls elsewhere, five eighths of an inch in the cockpits. The shape of the decks calls for yet extra care, on occasions, even for delicacy. It takes CSY five days to lay a hull or deck. It can be done in less, but not so well, and not by CSY. CSY laminates have twice the number of layers recognized as adequate by the boat industry. Is all this really necessary? Once the plug for the hull has been built, after exhaustive design studies and tests, the resultant mold is not very pretty on the outside, but it always gives birth to beautiful babies. Beautiful even before their 200 or more proud parents employed at CSY can get to work on bringing them up. Meanwhile, back at the plant, our CSY hull has been progressing towards marriage with the deck. The interior takes shape around bulkheads set in foam and partitions cut and fitted with care so still no distortion. There is no more critical part of a boat's construction than the hull to deck joint. The leak resistance of these yachts is made total by a massive combination of stainless steel screws, bolts, washers, nuts, backing plates, and liberal quantities of sealant.